Ladies and gentlemen, welcome at the Ayub Show. Today we have a very interesting topic, doing business in Morocco with Nele Mattes and Jasmine Untersteiner. Uh, they are going to talk about their business in the uh, touristic sector. Uh, yeah, they are based in uh, Tetuan, I have understood. So why Tetuan? And uh, why did you choose for that place? So yeah, it's really important um, when you consider to uh, set up a business in Morocco, you really have to think about the location. So first of all, we thought about the demographic part, like um, which products or service do we want to offer and who are the people who are able to afford it. So who is our target group? And we also had to consider the employees, um, where are the skilled workers we need for our business. And yeah, yeah it is the most important thing probably as a competitors, you can't um, set up a business um, and offering products on a market which is already saturated. So, yeah, yeah maybe yeah. to interrupt here, um, but it's also good to know where you're benefiting uh, competitor or companies are. So companies who target the same people but sell other products. So maybe you can partner up with them and then both benefit from the yeah. same target group. We are facing a global problem, which is called uh, climate change. It's a very serious problem, and uh, yeah, uh, what is your company? In, what does your company intend to do with this, and how does it affect your business? Oh, it affects us a lot because through the climate change, the sea level is rising, and if the sea level is rising, the land will disappear one time. So it's definitely, and um, that something has to be happen. So otherwise, the coastline will disappear of yeah. Morocco, and yeah. so our business will disappear as well, probably. Yes. If it's going on like this. Um, but there's another problem coming with the climate change because like the demand for fresh water is increasing but um, the number of fresh water resources is declining. So it's declining actually. The yes. number of fr fresh water the fresh water is declining. The, the resources yeah. of it are declining. Resources. But um, the demand is increasing because our population is rising. Okay. So we have to find a balance to get through it. Yes. And uh, yeah. As we all know, in Morocco, the infrastructure is not ide ideal. Um, yeah, I've heard also to, that you are planning to do something from the coast. From the yeah, from the coast, you want to make it possible to to yeah to uh, improve the infrastructure in such a way that it will be reachable for the whole country. Yes, it's okay. really important. Um, Morocco has so good ports, which are connected to more than one hundred countries worldwide. And this yes. is a huge benefit. And now Morocco has to make sure, like, they are investing, that's really good. But with investing, they have to make sure that they connect the ports with the inland. And so it's easy for, or it's easy and better for us, like, offering, like, tourist groups, like, a whole trip through the whole country. So they can start yeah. at the coast and then go through the country. But it's also for doing business. It's okay. really important to have, yeah, more highways. Like, yeah, but access airports. to your suppliers that you can um, vary a little bit, so you're not really yes. dependent on that one. You can yeah, find other suppliers, you can um, access your customers better, so it's just to improve the whole the whole business life. Okay, and uh, about the energy, or you have a very creative way of uh, gaining energy. Uh, how, uh, what's, how do you plan to do that? So we are close to a big city, so we don't really have a problem. But if someone wants to set up a business in Morocco, you have to consider it. Because at the moment, they're importing a lot of energy. But by 2030, um, the country wants to provide 52% um, of the whole energy um, through you know, renew renewable energy resources in Morocco. Okay. So it will be well, we have spoken about climate change, about competition, about the micro micro level, and solar energy, and infrastructure. So a lot of topics. So, uh, but I know that you have more things that you would like to talk about. For example, you have a lot of experience in doing business. Uh, yeah, what are the tips that you would want to give to people that want to start a, their own business? Oh yeah, well, it's important to, to think of a lot of a aspects because in Morocco you have a lot of paperwork. So there are companies uh, who hire um, people just to do all the paperwork to really get organized and to know what to do. But first of all, you surely have to think of a company name. So that's most important and you have to get it checked if it's still available because you don't want to have the same name as another company. Of course. Yeah, so there's this document called negative certificate which you need in Morocco. 
um, it's just a proof that no one else has the name yet and with this document you can go to the commercial register and get your company registered so that it's really official okay. so then the next step is that um, well you know you need a lot of documents as already mentioned so you have to go to the right places um, and bring it to the right departments um, I think we can talk from experience. Oh, we can. Experience. <laughs> yeah. So if you go to a, right, a wrong department, then it takes you so much longer. Yeah, you, you, have, you, really use you lose a lot of yes. time. Um, you have to make sure that you get registered for the taxes. For um, yeah, like a lot of things, especially taxes are important because you have different um, tax yeah. rates. So make so sure that it's not that the easiest part. No, it's not. And yeah. you have different sectors, you have different industries, and then the, the, the taxes are different. Um, yeah, the last part is also you have to pub, um, make your company public. You have to announce it um, in official newspapers. Um, yeah. That's one step. You, you can't, um, you have to write a text, you have to hand it in, and then they will pub, uh, make it public for you. But that's a step which is required, so you yeah, that's have right. to do that. Um, and maybe we should also talk a little bit about the costs, because it will take you, or you have to pay between 12,500 euros and 13,000 just for all the registrations and stuff. And then you have also companies where you have um, a minimum capital, which is required. So you also have to think of that it could be that it's up to 30,000 um, euros, so you have to make sure to find investors or maybe you want to get loans from uh, from banks, for example. Yeah. If we yeah, go back two know. years, would you, would you again invest in that sector? And would you recommend other businesses to do so? Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. I think we would do it again and I also recommend it to others because the tourist sector um, is booming, people want to go on vacation um, and as you already mentioned, the infrastructure is getting better, so you can also set up companies um, further in the country, so not only on the coast, coastline. So it's something new, and Morocco doesn't have it yet, so why not? Yeah. There are also other sectors you could invest into education, because it's getting more important to have skilled employees. And for example, um, languages are getting more important, so if you are a good English teacher, you can go to Morocco and find easily a job. Or you invest in the agriculture sector, but keep in mind the climate change. So, yeah, yeah do set it. up sustainable business. Yeah, a sustainable and business using uh, less water. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, yes, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you uh, keep watching the Eub Show and uh, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Ciao. That was a very good greeting and that was how it is done in Morocco. When you wanna when you wanna talk to your business partner in Morocco it's a relationship based so you have to ask about your family. Morocco when you meet your business partner he asks to it's like handshake you don't do um, how the westerners greet in Morocco it's handshake so Susan welcome this is my office have a nice seat thank you so much so we can discuss business but first Sorry. I will pour you some tea of course yeah thank you so much. there you go thank you so much it's not warm Okay, so um, let's make some space for CML graphs. Of course. Have you. you have the report? Yeah, I have it here. As you can see here, of course, it, lo it looks really nice. It's a nice uh, research. And uh, yeah, we'll come to this back later. Now, uh, let's take a break. Yeah, I think because I heard the that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Sorry. So oh, yeah. oh, you already know it about yeah, it? Yeah, I know it. Okay. We can continue nice. later if you want. Yeah, really. Yeah.
I really, I didn't want. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but. No, don't worry. I really okay. understand that. So we, uh, I think I will uh, then invite you to my home, and uh, my wife will make you some uh, couscous and uh, some tea. So then we will continue the meeting. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Just we just saw the business meeting part. That is how business meetings are done in Morocco, and you could see like when she uh, when she sat down. She, her leg was facing a business partner that is not done that is like a taboo in morocco which and then she was like cultural aware that it was wrong and then she corrected her mistakes and then when um the business partner was pouring the tea that is how it is done in morocco that is the cultural norms in morocco and the um thousand was really friendly and comfortable she makes and that makes it really more easier for them to have a conversation because they were both comfortable with each other and then um in morocco it's like in, in morocco is an islamic country so they have five times they have five times prayer every day and there is always like a call to prayer so then you could see like there at the end of the meeting there was a break it was because it was time for the business partner to go to mosque to pray and that was why there was a break there hello hello how, how are, are you, you? Fine. all good yeah your kid yeah fun your how husband you? good. Good. good alhamdulillah all good nice Come to in. see you again Out. Thank you. You're coming in the living room. Thank you so much. Hello, Susan. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Are you? Everything yes. is okay? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. We are already at the dining table, so that means that we are going to have a nice dish. We are oh. eating Moroccan couscous. Oh, amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yes, this meal she made very special for you today. Thank you so yeah. much. So, uh, it's good for your brain. Wow. Yeah, of course. So, um, It'll be the first time. Oh, it looks so good, this couscous. Yeah. I saw some pictures, but this is amazing. Amazing, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got used to it now, so it uh, already makes, makes for me... Uh, for me, it's the first time, so... So let's, uh, let's start. Okay. Bismillah. Bismillah. Susan, thank you for having you. We are very glad that you came. Thank yeah. you so much for the food. It was amazing. Of course, no I remember for all my life. It was yeah. the, my now. It's my favorite dish. Well, very nice to hear that. I still uh, so look up the business. Uh, okay. Ne, huh? N'oubliez pas de don't no, forget to uh, call him uh, to call my uh, business Perfect. associate. Now I then know will, where I can contact you. Yes, of course. Thank amazing. You. Anytime. Thank you so much. Okay. And see you next time. Have a nice evening. And we are in contact. Yes. Of thank course. you so much yes. thank you Have see nice you day. next time uh, yeah she took so much time to learn the culture and that is just so perfect when she greeted the wife that was the way it's done that's just the greetings and when she entered the house when you are invited whenever you're invited to Moroccan home you don't wear your shoes inside it's like a taboo in the country and because and the city rooms, things like these are not allowed. And also, when you are eating, you eat with your hands. You have to follow the leads of your business partners, the person that invited you to the house. And as you can see in the home, he and his wife, they were eating with their hands. And the Swazan was able to catch up with that. She ate with her hands. And at the end, there was a business card. In Morocco, business cards should be translated to French because it's one of the languages that's, that is spoken in Morocco. And also, as you can see from the beginning to the end, the business etiquette and business negotiation, these are the aspects you should keep in mind. And as you can see, she followed the culture and that was why it was easier for them to... And they had like a very good negotiation at the end and now they can go into making business, into doing business together.